friends are going to draw a space kitten. Yeah, we're going to draw a kitten uh, with a space suit on. Yeah. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some... Paper. Paper, and what else? Something to color with. Yeah, and we're going to use our Art for Kids Hub gel crayons to color with at the very end. But you could use something different, like colored pencils or even a different brand of crayons. Yeah. You ready to start? Yes. We're also using marker paper to draw since we're using markers to draw with. Okay, let's first draw our kitten's head or the helmet, our space helmet. I'm going to draw a circle that's kind of big for the helmet. There you go. Around. Oh. <laughs> I love how big your kitten's head's going to be. I want to draw my head as big as yours. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redraw my circle. I'm going to start as tall as yours and then I'm going to come around. Oh, it's still smaller than yours. But it's, but it's bigger. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let's draw the helmet next. We're going to draw a little rectangle shape that comes out. And then we're going to draw it coming down and then back in. Yeah, let's do the same thing over here. We're going to draw a short line out, down, and then back in. Yes. And let's add another detail on that part of the helmet. We'll draw a little line down. And then let's draw the top of the helmet. We're going to start right here and we're going to draw a curve that goes up. Oh, it looks like a rainbow curve. And then we're going to come back down. So you start there and you're going to curve around and come back to this part. Yeah. And then let's do the same thing for the bottom. We'll come down like this, around, and then connect on the other side. So same thing. There you go. Awesome. Now let's draw our little kitten's nose. We're going to draw a little V right here. And then we're going to draw the top of the nose. Then let's draw the mouth. I'm going to draw a little U shape that comes out on both sides. And then let's draw the eyes. I'm going to draw a big eye right here and another big circle the same size for the other eye. I kind of messed up. I drew it a little too small. I want to make these match. So I'm going to draw another circle that comes around makes it a little bit bigger. And then let's draw a smaller circle inside for the highlight on each side. Then let's color in the big circle but leave the little circle white. This part will fast forward so remember to pause the video and take extra time to color in your drawings. Yeah. And I did say that I messed up on making this eye a little too small. Yeah. But there's no mistakes, right? Yes. And I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. And that's because the most important thing is... To have fun and practice. Yes. Have fun and practice. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Do you also want to add eyelashes to your eyes? Yeah. You could draw a little. Oh, those are so cute. And then on the other eye... And I'm also going to draw whiskers. Where should we put the whiskers? They're kind of in the, they should be where the eyes are. Maybe we just yeah. put them uh, right here. I'm going to just add three little lines right here and three right here. <laughs> What's our little cat missing? Our ears. Yeah, our kitten is missing ears. Let's draw, an, it's going to look like an antenna. We're going to draw it coming out, out to the left. And then let's repeat that same line out to the right. And then let's come back down for the rest of the ear. I think if this cat was really in space, these ears should be in the helmet. But I think it looks cute on the outside. Okay, now let's draw the inside. We're going to draw a curve that comes down from the top and we're going to stop before we get to the helmet. Then let's draw a zigzag line. Oh, it looks like the letter M. And then let's draw a curve up here. We're going to come down and then connect into that zigzag line. Yeah, let's do the same thing over here. We'll curve down the letter M. And then we'll draw another curve coming down and connecting. We did it. We finished our little cat's head or space helmet kitten. Yeah. And now we need to draw the body. Let's draw the space suit. We're going to draw two lines that come down from the chin. Oh, that's an awesome thick spacesuit. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to draw the bottom of the spacesuit connecting. And then let's draw the legs. We're going to draw in the middle. We're going to draw 
watch this. We're going to draw two curves that come out like this. It looks like an upside down V. One. Yes. And then we're going to draw the outside of the legs coming out like this. One and another one. And then we're going to draw the feet. We're going to draw the front of the foot coming like this and then down. So yes, out and then down. And then we're going to go the other direction on the other foot. Then we're going to draw the bottom of our foot. But first, see this little V? Let's extend it down just a little further on each side. Yes, and then we can connect this side over to here. And then this side over to here. Let's draw the bottom of the space boots. I'm going to draw two lines on the front and the back of each foot. This one too. Oh yeah. There you go. And then let's connect those together also. There's our big space boots. Kitten space boots. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Oh, and we could also add little lines going this way. Ooh, that looks really cool. And our art friends can pause the video and add even more details to their spacesuit if they yes. want. Now let's draw the arms. We're going to draw a big arm coming down like this on both sides. So one here. We'll start up here. Oh, yeah. There you go. And then we can start there. There's the shoulder is way up here. Mm -hmm. And then let's connect it in on both sides. Okay, now let's draw the space gloves. We're going to draw a curve that comes in like this and on the other side too. Then let's draw the little thumb. We could draw another curve that's smaller inside. There you go. Yeah, that works. And then we'll do the same thing over here. It looks like the letter J. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. Oh, let's add a little front pack on our kitten's spacesuit. We're going to draw the letter L. Then we can draw an upside down L to connect it. And then let's draw the straps going over, over the shoulders. We'll draw two diagonal lines and then two diagonal lines on the other side. And then let's draw diagonal lines that connect to the bottom. <laughs> and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Oh, let's add little buttons. I'm going to draw a rectangle shape and a circle. Oh, let's add a patch over here on the arm and a patch over here on this arm. What's our space kitten missing? The tail. Yeah, the tail. You knew exactly what it was missing. I bet you thought I forgot. I'm going to draw an S curve coming out from the left side. Curve up. Then we're going to draw another curve that matches right next to it. And then at the very end, let's draw a curve to connect those two together. We did it, Olivia. We finished drawing our space kittens, except we still need to do what? We still need a color. Yes, my favorite part. Let's pick out the colors. Okay. Let's use pink, gray. What color is this? Orange. Orange. We have dark two. Dark blue. Yes, dark blue and, and light blue. a light blue. We have two blues. And, and a red. And a red. Let's start with our light blue. And I thought it would be fun to outline around the pupils. So the black is the pupil and then this is the iris for a cat. We're going to give our cat blue eyes. So we're just going to draw a circle all the way around. And these are called gel crayons. So they go on really smooth and they're super satisfying to use. They're really bright too. Yeah. And any brand of gel crayon is basically the same. They're really fun to use, but they're also a little more messy than regular crayons. They're a lot like oil pastels, if you're familiar with oil pastels. Okay, now let's switch. Oh yeah, keep going on your on your eye. Uh, <laughs> good job. Now we can switch. Let's do our pink crayon. This is kind of a neon pink color. Yeah. I love this pink. Let's color in the inside of the ears, ears. and also the inside of the nose. We could also add pink cheeks, but I might do that later. Then I'm going to switch to orange crayon and let's color in the ears, the outside of the ears, solid. Now let's color our little kitten's face. You could color the whole cat solid. Yeah. You could also color spots yeah. oh, and you could also, you don't have to use the same orange. You could use a different color. Maybe your cat's black. Ooh. 
ooh, or a gray. It could be a different colors. So I'm gonna draw spots. I think I'm gonna draw a line that comes down like this. And ooh, maybe another one that kind of matches on the other side. Yeah, that looks really cute. Okay, let's color in those shapes. I'm also gonna color the tail, but you could wait. Since you're left-handed and these crayons are kind of, they're kind of messy uh, if you drag your hands over it, you can also hover your hand so that it's not resting on the paper and sometimes that helps. You can also use a scratch piece of paper and put it down like this and that also protects your drawing. So those are two little secrets that you can use when coloring with gel crayons. So let's switch to our gray crayon next. Let's color some of the spacesuit solid gray and we'll also, I think, leave the suit white. So we can use this more as a shadow or for the details. I'm gonna color just a curve that matches that rainbow line that comes across to the other side. Yeah, good job. Then I'm gonna color the whole bottom piece solid. Next, let's color the straps gray or solid. We could also color the gloves solid gray. And let's color the bottom of the shoes or the boots gray. Then we can use our gray for shadows or shading. I'm gonna draw color right, kind of where the armpit would be. <laughs> you could also add a little shadow underneath the helmet. Also down here at the bottom of the suit. And if I go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time, remember you can always pause the video, especially when we fast forward. Yeah. Oh, you did such a great job. Okay, now let's switch to our dark blue. We're gonna add a little American flag right here. So I'm gonna add a blue square on each side. And then we can switch to our red crayon and color the rest of this little patch red. It, you can change any of these details. You could change it to be a different flag. You could also even just turn it into maybe a space patch. Ooh. A space patch would be cool, huh? Yeah. Let's also use this red for the buttons on the front of our suit. And also don't forget to color your tail. Okay. I'm gonna switch to pink and color in the cheeks right here where the whiskers are coming out. <laughs> and we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our little space kittens and they turned out perfect. Yours is always my favorite. <laughs> Thank I you, I like yours too. <laughs> Thanks. And I'm also especially glad that I started over and I drew the head bigger because it looks so much cuter with a big head. <laughs> what else could our art friends add to their drawing? A background. Yes, what kind of a background? A space one or Ooh. maybe just a land one. A land one? A space one or a land one? Maybe if you drew space, you could draw the whole thing black, or you could cut it out and then paste it onto a black piece of paper, mm. then use a white crayon or a white pencil to add the stars. Yeah. Oh, and if you drew your kitten on land, maybe you draw the rocket in the background like it's getting ready to take off. You could also add the cat in the space station. Oh yeah, you could draw your cat inside of the space station. Maybe there's a window where you could see Earth way off in the distance. And then you could also draw other astronaut kittens too that are inside of the space station. Yeah, <laughs> we hope you have fun drawing a space kitten. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.